Hey everyone, I uh, started working on Sonics a little more today. I uh, went ahead and started trying to verify that the elevator tips are positively balanced on each side. So I have the elevator sitting on here with the pins in, and what I've been doing is going on each side and, and uh, with this little um, uh, clamp holding the elevator to the hinge and starting to drill the, the holes for the rivets on either side and verifying that they're as close as possible. This is still a, a half inch, or sorry, maybe a quarter of an inch higher than it should be compared to the other side, but uh, that's pretty close considering how much warp there were in the fiberglass tips and what I was able to do with them. But I'm just gonna continue to go and keep um, drilling the holes up to the 30 size and uh, slowly putting pressure on it and uh, gr and drilling holes with the pressure into it so it keeps the tips as even as possible. I have all the holes drilled to 40 sizes upside down right now. I can't remember if I did a video about the upside down already. Um, and I have all the fiberglass sanded down to where it needs to be. There's no more problems with the uh, binding anywhere. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip it back over and disassemble one of the sides and clean it up and um, start looking into countersinking it. Hey everyone, I've primed the side pieces and have them ready to go. And now what I'm doing is going through and dimple dyeing the top skin. When I have the top skin dimple dyed on both sides, then I'll go ahead and I will rivet this piece in with uh, six uh, normal, um, what do you call it, some rivets this way, uh, including making sure this piece is on uh, properly. And then um, I'll go ahead and then put the fiberglass on after I countersink that and then go ahead and rivet those as well too. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Thanks. I have these six uh, CCC or CCP42 rivets in holding this back on. Uh, it's a bit of an ugly fix to that shim there, but at least it'll hold it and be properly sized. And uh, now the next part is to go ahead and uh, uh, countersink these holes up here. Oh, sorry, um, yeah, countersink these holes and these holes, and uh, then go ahead and uh, pop it on. There it is, countersunk and back in place. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, pull these 15 rivets for the top side here, and then uh, flip it over and, and pull the bottom ones. And here it is finished. Boy, I thought that would have been a lot sooner. Um, these fiberglass parts are nowhere near as accurate as the aluminum. That's not a Sonics thing, that's any fiberglass thing. They always have some sort of bow in them. But I went ahead and finished uh, drilling, cleat going, dimple dyeing, everything, and popping it in and putting all the rivets on this side. I still have the left side to go, but I'm gonna work on that uh, some other time. I am exhausted, I think I'm about two, two and a half hours in today. Uh, but I got one done, and now I know how to go and finish the next one. I might do some, a little more clean up sanding along the way as well too, but it's, uh, Looking pretty gosh darn good. Thanks for watching so far, and I'll do another video soon. Thanks.